it is time now for our Christmas Kids broadcast with WPSL from Seacoast Bank. And invest in our local community since 1926. Uh, that's their uh, a slogan there. And, uh, of course, they've been around for quite a while, and we've been involved for quite a while. We have. We were just figuring out uh, at least uh, more than 20 years, 21 years, that uh, we've been coming to the Seacoast Banks with the Christmas Kids. And certainly thank you for hosting yet again. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the Christmas Kids Tour 2018, uh, day number two. And uh, we've got, as always, we've got great talent. Uh, today we're going to be featuring the uh, Renaissance Charter Choir of St. Lucie West under the direction of Scott Laird. They're going to kick our uh, Christmas uh, cheer off with some Carol of the Bells. Let's hear it. Christmas is just not Christmas until you hear that song. That, uh, that really kicks uh, yes. it off. And anytime I hear that song, I think of the Home Alone movie. I mean, that, 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 <laughs> oh, no. Well, yeah, because, you know, they, that, that great harmony that they sing in that, of course. Uh, but the Renaissance Charter Choir of St. Lucie West, uh, Scott Laird, and we're going to be talking with him a little later. We'll find out where we can go and hear their Christmas concerts. Oh, oh yes, yes. And everyone is very nicely dressed in their concert attire, but I do like the antlers. The antlers are a great <laughs> accent. I like the green tie over there, too. Nice tie there, buddy. <laughs> Well, we want to focus on our hosts here at uh, Seacoast uh, Bank. We are, are um, in St. Lucie West, and certainly the, uh, the banking center manager here is Jose Acosta, and uh, accompanied with uh, Carissa Zuniga, the banking center manager at Tiffany, and Marianne Mateo from the Westmoreland branch. And uh, thank you for hosting. A lot going on at, uh, at Seacoast right now. Uh, definitely a lot going on. Uh, thank you uh, for coming again. Um, another year, right? But, uh, wow, just in, incredible. Uh, just if that doesn't get you in the Christmas spirit, oh, I don't yeah. know what will. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> um, but again, lots going on. Uh, thank you for coming, uh, choosing Seacoast again to, to come and showcase. Now, when we walk in, we see you know, a food drive going on. That is something you participate in. Uh, that is something we're participating in uh, for the past 11 years. Uh, Seacoast has been proud to partner with WPT, uh, WPTV Channel 5 for the Bill Brooks uh, Food for Families food drive. Um, uh, most recently, um, on Friday, November 2nd, we had a, a live drop event at our Colorado office that reported um, 3,288 pounds of actual food uh, plus $2,655 in donations, which uh, gives us about a total of 8,598 pounds of, of food. Wow. wow. Now, we, too, are affiliated with Channel 5. And as I, as I remember, uh, it's this Thursday. They want to have everything in, right? That's correct. Okay. So people can still bring things by uh, any Seacoast bring... branch? Yeah, still bring uh, items by. Okay, well, thank you. Now, um, you also had some other uh, uh, business news. I think you uh, had uh, – we're expanding. As expanding, yes. Um, interestingly interestingly en enough, last year when we were uh, doing this, uh, we were – we had just finished the acquisition of – uh, North Star Bank and Palm Beach Community Bank. This year, we're happy to report that uh, we took on First Green Bank uh, that just finalized in the month of October. Uh, so that added a few more locations, uh, deepening our presence uh, in the Fort Lauderdale area and a bit more in the Orlando area. 
Okay, well, good. If you're looking for a branch up in Orlando, then okay. Yeah, so now <laughs> you'll Seacoast, see the Seacoast yeah, name. Yeah, you'll or? definitely see the Seacoast name. Now we uh, span from uh, Fort Lauderdale, obviously here in the Treasure Coast, up in Orlando, and in the Tampa area. Okay, very interesting. And, and next year, who knows what? We come and back. Or next year's <laughs> another year. Right? We'll see what comes along. Now, your branch that's on Tiffany, it's a little different than more, more, most of the branches. It's a little more modern, a little more um, – uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for here? Techie. It, it's, it's, uh, techie. it's very techie. I mean, you guys, I mean, you can just, like, walk behind the area there where you guys do your thing. I mean, there's, there's little – uh, cubby, well, not what uh, kiosk kind of sort of uh, yeah, set up there. Yeah, so they're what they're called is um, teller towers. Tele we call okay. them TCRs. So TCRs. actually, there's no more um, cashing, um, counting cash anymore. Okay. So everything is done through the computer. We feed the money in and we disperse the money out. So there's. Uh, so there's really no money in the building. Um, well, a little bit, maybe maybe yeah. twenty bucks. Yeah, maybe twenty. Bucks. <laughs> 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 it's all about the digital, the technology. Um, it's the way the. Uh, the banking industry is going. Mm -hmm. So when you walk into that branch, there's a lot of um, digital screens, touch screens, oh, yeah. iPads. Um, you can walk uh, through that whole branch. You can actually walk behind the tellers mm -hmm. if you wanted to. And the key is that every associate in there is called the client advisor. So they're able to bounce behind the the tele tower, they can go over to the desk and assist you with all your financial needs. Mm, so for the high tech folks, and there's a lot of them out there, that's just a, that that branch is I, all, ideal for them. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But you still have the personal touch and we're still there. Mm -hmm. So we're happy to help you. Well, yeah. And because when you walk in, I mean, there, there are still humans in the building. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll help you learn the technology if you would like. Very good. You still have a few of us who walk in and just stare. <laughs> Absolutely. All the time. <laughs> okay. But, you know, I, I guess there was a time that people thought, I mean, someone thought that, oh, I just want to do my banking on the phone. I want to do this. I don't. But the, that personal touch, there's nothing better than the personal touch. You've got to have human involvement. Always. Because you're absolutely right. You know, you can make your deposit on your phone. You can go to the ATM, deposit money. Um, but, you know, sometimes you, you want to have a good conversation mm -hmm. with a banker and talk about your personal financial needs. And you can still come in and have that conversation. That's good. That is good. You I need like the, the reassurance. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. And Westmoreland as well, I'm sure. Are you, are not quite as, as into the techie? You're, you're both? Or? We're still the old-fashioned um, branch style. Um, we do promote digital. We promote ATM and online. Um, we also will assist you with that, but we do like the old-fashioned conversation customer service as well. So, yes, I'm sure there are people who still enjoy that. Yes, definitely. <laughs> you know, when you say old-fashioned, do do you guys still do like your old-fashioned Christmas clubs, the Christmas, uh, what, the, remember, <laughs> you would save money, what, 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 you oh, would sure. save money away, and at Christmas time, you would we give do. it back to We do, we actually do. We have called sale into savings. So every time you use your debit card, we move money from your checking to your savings to help build a savings account. So we don't call it Christmas club, it's called sale into savings, but it's a way to save for Christmas oh, well, that's or right. holidays. We, we, we've got to be politically sure. correct. You exactly. can't be called Christmas club. Oh, I'm sorry, did I say that on the air? <laughs> Excuse me. On the Christmas I, I said the word Christmas? <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cool. That's very because I used to. I enjoyed that. I would do that every year as a kid. And then when Christmas time came, I'd get this this money that I had been saving all year long, and I'd buy people stuff yeah, with it's it. Yeah, it's great. It's a great way to save. It really is. All right. Well, we've got a great a great choir here. Um, great harmonies. The Renaissance Charter Choir of St. Lucie West, uh, the, under the direction of Scott Laird, and we're going to hear some more great harmonies from this great group, great group of guys and gals. <laughs> Jolly old St. Nicholas, swing your ear this way. Don't you tell a single soul what I'm going to say. Christmas Eve is coming soon, now you dear old man. Whisper what you'll bring to me, tell me if you can. When the clock is striking twelve, when I'm fast asleep. Down the chimney, broad and black, with your pack you'll creep. All the stockings you will find hanging in a row. Mine will be the shortest one, you'll be sure to know. Johnny wants a pair of skates, Susie wants a sled. Nellie wants a picture book, yellow, blue, and red. Now I think I'll leave to you what to give the rest. Choose for me, dear Santa Claus, you will know the <laughs> Give him my hand, folks. Good right. job. Step on over to the mic with me. 
the Renaissance <laughs> Charter Choir and the Renaissance uh, Charter School. Tell us a little bit about the school. Sure. We are a K-8 school on Northwest Cashmere Boulevard here in St. Lucie West. We serve about 1,300 students. Uh, our middle school has about 450 currently. I've got 38 of them behind me right now that are part of our choir. Uh, we do boast the largest performing arts program in a K-8 school on the Treasure Coast. Might not be verified, but I'm going to go with it. <laughs> um, we won't count. Okay. Uh, we have, in addition, to, thanks, thanks. in addition to our choir, I do also direct our band. We have several small ensembles as well that perform. Um, we'll have the opportunity to join you a couple of more times this season, actually, to show you some of the other things that we do. Uh, we also do a K-8 school-wide musical. Uh, this year we are doing Beauty and the Beast. We do the full two and a half hour Broadway production. We don't do the junior shows anymore. We've outgrown them. Uh, I do have a cast of 105 for this year's production. Um, and we are actually going to be performing at the Sunrise Theater in Fort Pierce three nights in May. Nice venue. So it's a beautiful Whoa. venue. Uh, we're really excited. This will be our first year there. We've done the Lyric Theater the past two years. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's really great to be able to give the students the opportunity to perform on a professional stage. So we, we get them out in the community and we like to get them in front of as many people as possible. We are completely self-funded. So to be able to give them this opportunity is truly something magical for them. Now, with that parent listening that wants uh, to perhaps enroll their children at the school. Yes. What's the process? So in order to enroll, you really just have to go to our website, which is it's still the same, Miss Todd. St. Lucie Charter. <laughs> uh, and there is a apply now link right there. You can click on it, fill out the application process. Our enrollment manager, Alicia Sutherland, is happy to help people with that process as well. Is there a tuition? There is no tuition. That is a big misconception. Charter schools are free. We are free. We are public. Where can we go to hear these students sing some to some sort of a holiday event? Sure. We actually have a couple of events coming up on Saturday, December 8th, we will be performing at Tradition Square with Bianca Jasmine. We'll be joining her for a couple of her original songs, as well as singing some of our Christmas uh, tunes. And then we have our Christmas uh, holiday collage concert. <laughs> uh, that is Tuesday, December 11th, right at the school, 300 Northwest Cashmere Boulevard. Uh, the performance starts at 6.30. That will feature this group behind me, as well as our band, several small instrumental and vocal ensembles. Uh, it is completely free to attend. Uh, we invite the public to come join us and have a wonderful holiday celebration. We'll hear more from you guys before we finish this show today. Good stuff. It was always great to see. Is this contingent of it looks like families, parents, and uh, 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 cameras coming in, in in support and to watch. <laughs> And I know, and I talked with Cliff earlier today. Now, this will be up on YouTube, if I'm not mistaken, Greg. Yeah. So yes. uh, after the show, they'll put it together and edit it and everything, and everyone can go to YouTube uh, and uh, check w it out. WPSL TV WPSL on YouTube. WPSL TV. Yes. Yeah. We need, uh, we always thank a lot of people uh, this time of year, but we particularly need to thank the Mets Booster Club. Uh, Greg and I went there last night. Yeah. <laughs> They you know, actually they help us kick off uh, the toy drive every uh, every year, and uh, they went out and had this whole table hmm. of of uh, toys. Either they they purchased some, and then they had uh, their members brought in toys. So uh, I have a carload of toys uh, out uh, there right now. But uh, certainly thanks to the uh, the Mets Booster Club. Now, Carol, when will you when will you do the famous shopping? When will that start? We're gearing up for this Saturday to go out and uh, and do one of our big shopping trips. Mm -hmm. We'll probably do another one uh, during the uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, um, uh, holiday. Uh, however, we we all decided we're not getting up at four in the morning. We're not doing that. We're just not doing that. But you know, we'll we'll be out there. So then we'll uh, pack the family bags um, the first uh, Saturday in December and the second Saturday, and be ready to give them all away on the twelfth uh, of December. Yeah, you know, I've gone one time on one of those shopping sprees, and it is amazing to see <laughs> that many people with that many carts, with that many toys, walking through a Walmart or wherever, and everyone's staring. It's like. What are these people doing? What are they going? Where are they going with these toys? Oh, we've had people like, how many kids do you have? <laughs> exactly. And and the year that the register stopped because it, it only counts to uh, uh -huh. what yep. is it a thousand dollars or something? Oh what was no, it? they'll go I think to five thousand. Yeah. Okay, but we we made the we we closed the register down because the register couldn't read it anymore and they had to reset it because we were like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, they're they're ready for us now. Yeah. They they know they know. But uh, yeah, we're we're gearing up and uh, certainly uh, St. Lucie County Community Services mm. as well has been busy. Now they took. Uh, Applications uh, for children all last week. Uh, by Friday, they had uh, 456 uh, children signed up. Haven't heard from them today yet. So, but they uh, reopened after uh, Veterans Day. So they're uh, they're uh, taking applications now. It's uh, again St. Lucie County Community Services 
It's at 437 North 7th Street in Fort Pierce. You can call them at 462-1777, but best is to go. You need uh, proof of a current address uh, if you're in St. Lucie County. You need proof that they're your children, birth certificates, um, and also you need proof of income because okay. this is for people who need you need the help. Mm -hmm. at and the, now, and the, the children each receive three, three toys. Three new toys. Yes, and, and that's where our uh, – we're actually taking a consultant with us this weekend. We have a 13-year-old that's going to oh, go with us. Oh, well, that's that always, we that's discovered, very helpful. You know, they will see things we don't see that are good, uh, good gifts. And, and every <laughs> year it gets more technical and high-tech for us. You know, it's like, uh, well, you know, we know about the old-fashioned things, but uh, we need that uh, younger – that younger influence, I guess. And, and that is pricier, so we have to well, sure you know, is. be careful. But the, that's where the consultants come in. They, yeah. they, they help us. Mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Now, you're uh, working on the, uh, the food for families uh, right now until Thursday. And then uh, after this, you actually go into a toy drive as well. Yeah, you'll be collecting toys. Participating in the toy drive. Uh, all of our locations will be uh, a designated location uh, mm -hmm. for uh, customers or anyone to bring by uh, uh -huh. any toys. This is a time of year when all of all of our hosts are involved in several different things, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, and yeah. certainly. Definitely. And it's not just limited to, to children. Uh, we're also participating in um, be a Santa for senior. That, too. Very important. Yes. yes, that too. Can I get a Mercedes? <laughs> oh, oh. I'll, I'll put a, a, a word in with the big guy, but <laughs> I can't promise you anything. <laughs> what kinds of things are you looking for in the uh, Santa for seniors? What? Uh, yeah. Uh, we sure. We um, partner with Home and Sense Senior Care, uh -huh. and they they're yeah. going to drop off boxes today, and they actually have a little list because yeah, it's like what do they need? But um, interesting enough, they just need blankets, canes, um, word searches. Um, mints just things like that that you don't think of and it's really great because you know kids are wonderful to give to and that's what we think of when we think of christmas but there's elderly people that actually don't, don't have these necess necessities that we have that we take for granted so if you're if you're near a seacoast after tomorrow um our five locations in st lucie county if you stop and look at our boxes for the seniors and just pick some of those items it really goes a long way and I heard someone suggest also a lot of seniors have pets. Exactly. So a pet toy. Yes. Pet treat, pet toy. Those are on there too. Yeah, the list is very enjoy. interesting because yeah. that was my thought too. It's like, what can we get a senior? But if you look at the list, it's really interesting. And just something makes them so excited to have a new blanket or a new, um, a new um, a neck rest or mm. these things that you take for granted that you think they might have or they could, could use a new one. Okay, all right. Hmm. We have uh, our, our chorus. Uh, the Renaissance here. Charter yes. Choir, and they've been uh, blessing us with some uh, great, great harmonies. Some more Christmas cheer from the group. Tree top. 
Wow. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, too. I think it's been like 50 years since I've seen a white Christmas. Yeah, uh-huh. Have you it's, ever seen a white? Have you been oh, a- I have. Yes, oh, okay. yes. I grew up in the Midwest and, yes, in Chicago. Yeah. The, the coldest Christmas we ever spent was in Boston. But, Ooh, uh, yeah, yes. I can imagine. You know, I, but it's a nice <laughs> memory. <laughs> and that brings us that, that brings us back to um, our, our, our favorite holiday memory. Um, so if we may, let's start uh, Marianne um, Mateo. So I mentioned this memory a few years ago, so I'll bring it back because I think it's been a few years. Um, My family owns Roma Bakery, Bella Roma. So as a a kid, I didn't have very many memories with everybody being there on Christmas morning because everybody was working. So me and my brothers would wake up and we were alone on Christmas, but we were alone opening opening our presents. So that was fun. Um, And then we were together on Christmas Eve. Santa came on Christmas Eve and we celebrated big, big, big on Eve. Lots of family, lots of fun, Mm. lots of food. And then um, in the morning, we were left to play and open more of our presents. And um, the family came home, you know, uh, mid-afternoon to finish celebrating. But um, growing up, because it was tradition, we loved it. And now with my two little girls, we um, celebrate the eves with the family. Um, we open our presents in the morning, but we rush to Roma's to celebrate mm. with my family, and they get to see the crazy chaos there. But they also, I want to share the um, memories that I had with growing up with the um, family store, and they get to see the, um, you know, the traditional food and and all of the community enjoying the food that uh, the family prepares. Yeah. So we started yeah. our own little family memories. Christmas Eve can be as fun as, I mean, because it seems like Christmas Eve lasts longer than Christmas. It does. I mean, Christmas, yeah. you open the present and it's over. But exactly. Christmas Eve, is like, it just... It lasts. Yeah, it, yeah you can't wait, wait. We usually mm-hmm. start at 10 or 11 at night, so it's a late, late night, but then the morning is still there for the next mm-hmm. day, so... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very nice. Carissa? I, do, I will share a little story, but I do want to share um, something as well as a tradition. You know, you all mentioned 21 years coming here. Um, I've been with the bank over 22 years and probably the last 15 in St. Lucie County. And I've probably been here almost all of those years joining you. And I think that it's just a kickoff of the tradition yeah. for the season for us as well. Because mm-hmm. we always say that we got to go tell our story. <laughs> and, you know, here we are. Oh, my gosh, it's already the holiday time. And, here, you know, so this has just been a big tradition as well. And every year, the kids, amazing. Mm-hmm. Amazing. So, that's become part of my tradition, <laughs> but um, I do have plenty of family stories. Um, I will talk a little bit about a white Christmas. Many years ago, um, I grew up in New York, and my family, we always spent Christmas Eve together. That was our big um, big to do, but, you know, of course, you have to be home and in bed by midnight, mm. otherwise, you know, someone's not coming, <laughs> and just with the snow, I'll never forget, you know, my dad actually pulling us home on a sleigh, the three of us. Oh. Um, you know, we live about five blocks from my grandpa- grandparents' house, but it was just it was just really cool. It was snowing, and we were able to walk home and get pulled at home by a sleigh. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> and Jose Acosta. Well, I've not experienced a white Christmas yet, but uh, I'm looking to cross that off my list. Uh, I got some family up in, in Michigan that, that maybe I might go oh, visit. You'll them. find one there. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah that's right. Right. <laughs> there's, there's no escaping that. <laughs> um, as far as... Um, you know, I'm concerned. I mean, I'll say that I'm making mine. I have two two little boys, a six year old and a two year old, and uh, they their own little personalities are growing. So just watching them experience it um, is is definitely a, a good, good for me. You're you're still trying to figure out how the tricycles go together. Uh, yeah, before, trying yeah. to put things together. Um, <laughs> uh, I got a couple hurricanes with me. Mm. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Well, that is great. And the uh, the white Christmas will will come. Yes, you can uh, definitely <laughs> can plan that. Sure. Definitely. Now, Carol, this year we've got the 2018 version of the Sugar Plum Run. Yes, yes, that is uh, is happening on uh, November 30th, and uh, we have a very generous group of runners. Uh, I call them a crazy group of runners, but they're a very generous group of runners that uh, have uh, contributed to the Christmas Kids. Uh, they started the event last year, uh, did a 5K and a 10K, mm-hmm. and we had a huge turnout. We had 400 runners. I mean, I, I, I didn't realize there were that many people who I knew. I had no idea they were runners. Um, and, you know, it was, it was quite a turnout. We had uh, the St. Lucie Ballet, uh, Sugar Plum Fairies, that <laughs> gave away the prizes and, and the, uh, the medals. And uh, it, was quite, it was quite an event. So this year, they're doing the same 5K, 10K, and added a half marathon. 
and it's a nighttime run. It's going to be out at Round Tradition, and uh, you can register online at thesugarplumrun.com. No. You have to put the the in there, or you get something else. Now, there are <laughs> professional runners that do this, too. I mean, this, oh, I mean, yeah. The, don't they get some kind of a running credit or? Well, there is timing that we have a professional timer okay. and they put a chip on your race bib so that when you uh, cross the starting line, it registers. And when you cross the finish line, it registers. Mm -hmm. You get an unofficial time okay. that you can take <clears throat> to qualify for other races. Mm -hmm. I, I guess if you do the Disney half marathon and so forth, you have to have a, a time from another race and you have to have a qualifying proof. And you power. know, Dr. Barry Hummel of the Quit Doc Foundation. Uh, he and his wife, uh, they travel all over the country. They just got back from the Chicago Marathon. Uh, so, I mean, they are serious. Yeah, and, some serious and they, and they basically, uh, they run, I think it's like 60 miles a week. Um, and then they're whatever this club is that, you know, they're in this elite area. Yeah, they're coming up. A uh, friend from the New York Yankees is uh, coming over from uh, Tampa. So yeah, yeah, uh, it, it should be a lot of fun. Now, doesn't Al isn't Al a big runner? Oh yeah. Actually, yeah. Al and Ann Sorcelli have been the uh, the the organizers of this, and uh, certainly doing all the work on it. So big thanks uh, to them, mm -hmm. and uh, also Florida Blue has been the big, big sponsor. Uh, mm -hmm. for, and a lot of, and and it has grown. I mean, uh, it uh, they were somewhat hoping that it would turn out uh, well last year, but it, it it exploded. They were only expecting what. Maybe a hundred well, runners or we, something. Oh, we, for the first they didn't year, know really. We thought we thought two hundred would be really okay. really good, and apparently the weather was good at the last. Or they had you know they doubled the up to four hundred uh, runners. Mm. And, uh, it was a lot of fun. Wow, it's going to be huge this year. And the paella grill is there, so there is, uh, as the runners call it, the post race nutrition uh, will be very good. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of big sponsors this year, so looking forward to that. And the, the date again is and November thirtieth. But you can register online, thesugarplumprun.com. All righty. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're going to hear again from the oh, – oh, okay. We've only got a few minutes left. Uh, we'll hear again from Renaissance Charter Choir some more Christmas cheer. And we want to thank our host, Seacoast National Bank, again, 21st year. Thank you. time of the year that's for sure all right thanks to the renaissance charter school uh and certainly for the edge of the choir we get the sixth through eighth graders who've uh, turned out and and again uh, you'll be with us you'll be more uh, appearances i think tomorrow you're with us again right tomorrow. now the okay. quartet so that we're, we're talking music uh, wh wh how many still vocal oh still vocal sorry so a quartet tomorrow okay, okay so very quartet good. tomorrow and then the full group will be with you again on december 6th okay ah, all very right good. well thank you thank you <laughs> and thanks to uh, seacoast national bank and uh, the ever expanding and certainly with all of your the efforts that you're doing uh, also people can uh, bring in food for the next couple of days bring food in for toys. the next couple of days toys um christmas for seniors for seniors um quite a few things going on but Definitely swing by one of our locations and drop off some of that stuff. Well, great. And certainly thank you for hosting us yet again. <laughs> and we want to wish everyone uh, actually to get into the uh, the holiday season. As uh, Now that we're in our second show, we're starting to feel the holiday spirit. Yes, this is the way we uh, get going, uh, too. And uh, certainly thank you for joining us. And keep the Christmas kids in your heart. And we will see you tomorrow.